Oh my goodness. I apologize, ladies, for being late. I was setting up the whole thing and I couldn't get the light right. So the light is going to be bad today, unfortunately. Let me see. Oh my God. All right. Oh, okay, okay, uh, guys, I can see you. So, hi, dolls, kitties, and coffee. Hello, dear kitty. I'm driving home, but I'll be listening. Well, drive safely, and thank you so much for being here, darling. Uh, oh, hi, Reborn Hugo. Hi, Ines. Okay. Bless this emptiness. Hi, hi, Katie. Hi, darling. Thank you so much for stopping. So I'll, I'll just let people to come. Oh my gosh, this light is so bad. It's going to be storming here, guys. So here in Chicago. So I apologize about that. Let me see. What is his? Hi, Susie, a Ruby Rose Reborns. Oh my goodness, Susie came to the live. <laughs> so nice to see you ladies here. Okay, come on, Hoppy. Charlie, Hoppy. Okay, this is, uh, this is going to be chaotic. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the light off. Oh. It's going to be a little bit chaotic beginning. Ladies, let me set up the light. I need to turn on my uh, ring light because it's awful. The light here. I want to change him. I want to change two babies while I'll be chatting. And I was getting ready and then I received a message from a sculptor about the, this latest thing. And so that's why I'm running late, couple of minutes plus. I was trying to make myself a coffee and I didn't have time. So, whew. all right, so how is everyone doing? Okay, I think, mm. well. Oh, there's Anne's Little Nursery. Hey, y'all. Hi, Anne, and hi, Tina. And Rose, uh, Rosa from Dolls, Kitties, and Coffee says, I saw Raleigh Eagles post on a topic. So I'm, so I'm here for the achievement <laughs> to listen to the constructive conversation of the group. Thank you so much. Yeah, we were uh, talking about this with Ines since last night uh, because we have been uh, actively watching this. This has been unraveling for what, like two days already on Facebook. And uh, it started, the first post I've seen uh, was Bobby Barfoot's post from Trueborns, who was, uh, she was taking the stand. And then I saw Brenda from McPherson's. And then I've seen a couple of the artists making official announcements. Uh, they were addressing uh, collectors mostly. So I will be touching up on that. Uh, it's, it, uh, first of all, disclaimer, before I go into the topic here, I don't wanna stay uh, on for two hours, ladies, and take your time. I really want to stay on top of, of this topic. Also, I don't want, uh, I want to make sure that everybody, nobody is going to turn this into some kind of bullying nonsense, okay? We are going to, just, I just want to have a conversation with fellow uh, collectors and artists out there. This is, I'm, I'm not going to say, oh my God, nobody's canceling anyone, first of all. Nobody's bullying anyone. I just want to see where kind of like other collectors stand because I think you pretty much have an idea where I stand, uh, where Ines stands, because we have been vocal about the ways we collect. But I would just like to hear from other people. I'm not saying this or that is wrong. Well, I have my opinion about that, but I'm I'm just going. To, I just I'm just here to have a coffee with friends, 
and to lead the conversation here, to offer my channel as a platform for all collectors and possibly artists to stop by and to say uh, how they feel. Of course, nobody's going to hold anyone responsible. Uh, you know, here on our channels, I think uh, Ines, she has the, she's the queen of live streams. I'm not really good at live streams. I'm just trying to kind of like address this because I have been talking to uh, a couple of people. But I, I just, we're, we're offering our channels as a, as a platform to lead these conversations. I don't want to be this, to be turned around and twist around because some people are just artists in this life. Yeah. So I just want to talk about this because this is relevant to the hobby. This is relevant to collecting. This is uh, relevant to all of us, artists and collectors, because I feel like limited editions have been important. Like the, uh, To me, it's important. I'm basing my decisions, not all of them, but I have to tell you, if I'm deciding between two sculpts and one is limited and one is open, I always go for limited edition. I'm just going to say it openly because it keeps, I feel like it's more valuable, the kit itself, not the baby. I'm just talking now purely uh, from collector's point. And yes, we are, yes, this may be, uh, cute babies and we love to cuddle them and it's emotional hobby but it's, uh, it, we are all presenting them as art as art dolls as collectibles uh, so I just I'm just so that's why limited editions have been created they are here for a reason so that's why people are getting heated up and I thought that I would just discuss this let me catch up ladies here before I start uh, Margie Gibbs, hi Margie, there's a Mimi, hi Katie, hi Mimi, welcome, and Maribet, hi Katie, I just saw you were alive, hi darling, so uh, ladies, I'm going to, uh, before I start uh, chatting here, I'll just wait two more minutes, I'll, I want to change Daniel into this little sleeper, because I feel, I don't want you to stare uh, on my not moving, not breathing doll here. Uh, and I want to change him because I haven't changed him forever. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, just a little introductory thing for everyone who doesn't know what's going on. Uh, Andrea Arce Arcello, the sculptor, she decided to release the second edition of one of her most popular uh, rare sold out limited edition sculpts. And that created some waves in a community because a lot of people who have been uh, purchasing and who have been looking for, it's Harper, okay? It's a little smiling, happy baby. She decided to release the second edition with Harper's head and she mixed it up with another sculpt, limbs. And I just had it on my tongue and I can't, I, uh, I can't now remember the name of the sculpt. What is wrong with me? Uh, Ines from Reborn Higa says, hello, I didn't get a notification. Huh. Oh my gosh, see, this is the problem. I, I don't get notifications from the channels that I'm subscribed and I have many channels all on a bell and I'm not receiving them either. Uh, and uh, so Ines has, is saying limited editions, should they be released, re-released? Yes, it's a Harper and Mimi says, I think it was Phoenix. Yes. So there, <clears throat> sculptor Andrea Arcello, she decided she will go release one of her most popular, most sought after sculpts that has been sold out for many years. I think they were saying like seven years. Now, ladies, I'm talking about something that has been accumulated, the value. People who really desired to have Harper in their collection, people like me, let's say, who came into the hobby later and they missed out on the, uh, on the kid. I'm the same way with Quinlan, who paid arm and a leg to, on a secondary market to get the blank kids or babies, finished babies. Uh, and they paid arm and a leg. I've seen some ladies saying that they paid up to almost $600 for blank kids. And I'm not discussing now this blank kid resale value. Not, it, this life is not about that. Uh, 
so anyways, there's this scalp. People are buying it. It's it's popular. It's valuable. Okay. And now Sculptor decided to go and release uh, the second edition, which I don't know if it's going to be limited or all open with head of a harper and phoenix links. And people are upset. Some people say, okay, it's the sculptor's decision. This is her sculpt. She can do whatever what, uh, what she wants to. And the other side of the community, uh, they're saying, well, no, this is unethical because this, this edition, this sculpt was released or has been released as limited edition. Uh, that's why a lot of people bought it because it's just serious collectors. Yes, they are focusing on limited editions. A lot of people bought it. And now after seven years, this is just not cool. It, it, it shouldn't be, this shouldn't be happening. Limited edition, even the sold out, even the rares, they all should have stayed limited. And a lot of sculptors were taking the stand. Now we have two dealers. Um, Trueborns and McPherson, who are standing kind of like, okay, there's no division, but they, they both, both ladies have kind of like different opinions on that. Uh, as we know, McPherson's helped and drafted to release the second edition. And a lot of people were upset about that. Artists and collectors. Um, Bobby from True, Trueborn, she took the stand, uh, the opposite stand. She doesn't agree. She decided not to carry uh, this second edition in stock and there has been uh, a lot of heated discussions on Facebook I don't know if you have been following it ladies or not let me catch up here what on earth this slide uh, blast this emptiness says I got notification Margie says I got notification I like the diaper thank you uh, hello everyone, if you enjoy this channel and this topic, uh, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much Ines from Reborning Day. Uh, okay. Uh, there's a live one day at a time. Hello friends, hi darling. And there's Birdies Babies, Linda, money, 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 it's all about money. Yes, well, let me, before though, I, I want to, I apologize. Tell, guys, is this awful, like completely awful, this light? Because I am just horrified. Okay, now it looks better. I feel like it's looking better. I don't understand because if I have all the lights on, it's just probably a very unfortunate angle that I'm having. Oh my lord. This is ugh. This is why I am not really excited about live streams. Okay, so anyways, but I wanted to provide this conversation. Uh I wanted to provide live stream as a discussion ground for all of other ladies and collectors because I am very curious about where you stand on this. I will tell I think you know where I stand. Oh my god. No. Ugh. <laughs> this is a fail. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. You will have to look at him. He looks like he was just toasted in a toaster. I promise this is not his color. This is completely very, very, truly unfortunate. I have my lights, both of my lights, over like daylight bulbs. Unfortunately, it's not very helpful. So, anyways, I think we're going to just proceed with the discussion here. Uh, Blast this emptiness says, I think uh, if it's limited edition sold out, then uh, sold out, then it should stay as such. If she is re-releasing it with different limbs, then it isn't true Phoenix kit, so it can be classed as a re-release. Yeah, that's a good point, ladies, because a sculptor decided to uh, kind of do a hybrid Frankenstein baby. I, I don't know if she was trying to. Uh, kind of, I don't know, because they, they're calling it Harper, but it has Phoenix links. So which, 
so it's neither there or neither here or neither there. But I still feel I would not be happy if uh, Laura released Quinlan, let's say, with Quinlan head and another one of her scalped limbs. I don't know how you would feel about it. Or let's say Bonnie Brown, one of her sold out limited rares like Grayson, which has been really super popular lately, or Amelia by Joanna Kashmirchak, or Lulu, okay? I've seen Lulu blank kit being sold for $1,000 on eBay. Now, imagine you buy this blank kit because you absolutely love Lulu. You want to have that sculpt in your collection. You buy that sculpt on Tuesday. You pay $1,000 for that blank kit. And two days later, the Joanna decides, okay, I'm just going to release another Lulu edition. And it doesn't matter if it's limited to 3000 or uh, it's open. You are stuck with the blank kit that you paid. You just paid grant for that blank kit. And some people say, well, it's greedy uh, for people to sell or to uh, to sell these black that's that's not the point of discussion girl uh, girls it is what it is that's that's how the things work and a lot of people are just getting upset because they a um, couple of them just purchased blank harpers and they paid hundreds and hundreds extra of their money so they're not happy about it collectors are not happy and i uh I, for one, uh, I don't agree with this. I think limited edition, I think what is the whole point of calling it limited edition if you're going to release it? And it doesn't matter if it's tomorrow, next year, or seven years down the road. It kind of makes me now uncomfortable thinking, okay, so <laughs> if there is this special scalp and I decide to buy that blank, uh, is it going to come even like seven years? Because you would think, okay, seven years down the road, it's not going to come back, okay? And now this happens. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a fan of these practices. Uh, let me catch up, ladies. <laughs> Toasted in a toaster, uh, Ashley says. Uh, Birdies, babies, thanks. <laughs> thanks for doing this live stream. I love live streams. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Linda, I'm not really good at live streams. So, please, if this is going to be awful, I really apologize for a live and everything. But uh, Reborn Hugia says, I wouldn't want any of my coveted soul kits to be re-released. I also don't think making it open or re-releasing one sold out limited kits effect, uh, the counterfeit market. Thank you so much. Yes, I get that. That's another thing. Um, uh, Tina says <laughs> she's laughing about the toaster. Uh, Blast is emptiness. I was thinking Daniel was looking rather tent. <laughs> it's been really sunny in Chicago, ladies. Uh, there's Laura. Hi, Katie. Uh, Reborn Hinge says, blast this emptiness. I feel funny about that too. I've been thinking about it and I think if it was the whole entire entire kit with original limbs and heads, it would be worse. Uh, yes. Well, I, what do you mean? It would be worse if this was like the whole Harper? Uh, live one day at a time. I don't like the idea of re-releasing Soul Kit. That's the fun of the hobby. When I see a soul kit someone has, I love going on journey of, of the hunt to find that kit somewhere. Very true. A lot of people are doing that. Uh, Jackie Dale says, hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, Reborn Higa says, I also don't like the idea of soul kits being re-released. Um, Blast this emptiness. Uh, Reborn Higa, yes, exactly. If you sculpt a kit and sell as limited edition, it should stay that way. And Maribet doesn't like hybrid combinations. And, oh, there's Natalia from Reborn OB. Yay, I finally made it to your life. Hello, Katie. Hello, darling. So, yes, ladies. Uh, so, this is this is what's, uh, what has been going on. Now, to this counterfeit market. Uh, I was reading Brenda McPherson's post yesterday. And she was basically saying that 
the reason why she's supporting her and her business, she's going to support Andrea, Andrea's decision is to fight the counterfeit fake, fake Chinese copies market. They say they're going to forward the proceedings or profits or whatever. They're going to forward it towards the fight against fake. Now, that would be fabulous, but I don't think that uh, limited editions or open editions have any impact personally, have any impact on fake kids because I have seen even open editions. Rosalie is an open edition. Rosalie has been counterfeited. It was, uh, the fakes were done within like four days of the official release of the first kit. Like they have been shipped. Not even a week later, there were fake Rosalies everywhere. Uh, so I uh, same with Sam, same with Twin A and Twin B's. How many Twin A? How many Saskias have you seen, ladies? And Saskia has first and second edition. But there's another thing. Uh, there is a difference between sculptor releasing the first edition and openly saying, yes, the first edition will be let's say thousand kits, and then I will do the second open edition that's not going to be numbered. COAs are different in these cases, and people are going into buying these kits knowingly. Okay, they know. Okay, either I want to have this kit, and I will try to score the very first limited edition uh, that's numbered, like with Levi's, let's say, my Sam. My Daniel, uh, he's from the first edition. He's from the numbered edition. I, I didn't know that. Uh, up until he came home, I kind of like didn't ask. I, I assumed because... I assume that uh, he was the second open edition, but no, he's from limited. So that's nice. But I mean, there is a second open edition, and I don't know if it's going to be time limited. Same, it was with Scarlet. It was the first edition, and then there was time limited, or no? I, I don't know about Scarlet now. Ines, Ines is Bonnie Brown expert. She will have to she will have to correct me here if it, if I just said some nonsense. Uh, uh, Debbie, oh, Debbie Lograsso, hello, friend. Hello, Debbie. Uh, Reborn again says, yes, I see. I think time will tell if Frankenstein, Frankenstein Harper will devalue the original uh, limited edition kit with original limbs. Uh, Birdies, babies, that's one thing I like about Natalie Bleak. Aren't they all limited? Uh, yes, they are. With Natalie Bleak, uh, you know, Natalie repeats her limbs too. Uh, Susu has the same limbs with Maggie, and then there's Yannick and Tuti. So, yeah, but she does, and I like that Natalie Bleak's editions are quite small still. You know, like 999 kits worldwide still. She keeps, uh, her edition keeps being the same number. They haven't been increasing over the years, even though more and more, because people uh, keep reasoning, okay, there's more people coming into the hobby. This is not what it used to be years ago, uh, and they need to cover the market, but I just feel, okay, we're talking about rares, things, limited editions that have been sold out, and they people have been overpaying over the years. So why don't you just sculpt something new and, yeah, you feel like the market is widening. That's fabulous. I would be thrilled as an artist to keep working and offering new and new faces because look at look at Cassie Brace. Uh, look at Laura Lee Eagles. Uh, Bonnie, Bonnie has a lot of beautiful babies uh, in her sleeve. When or if she's going to, well, now she's releasing Laura, but I, I've seen she's she's been working on a couple of them. So, you know, offer something new. I just feel like you want to charge all that money. Don't repeat the limbs, ladies, okay? Like sculptors, don't bring and don't hybrid your, don't mix up your kids. Just how about you just go and sculpt something new for everyone to enjoy, even the new people? I just don't understand. And honestly, as I said, I don't feel... I'm not, and this is not me trying to be judgmental or anything. I just honestly don't feel that limited editions have any impact on counterfeit market because I think they're just, yeah, uh, the market goes according to what is popular and the cute faces. I see limited editions 
uh, being Maggie, okay? Maggie, have you seen the Maggies on eBay? Ridiculous, okay? Tons of them being sold there, fake Maggie, even finished ones. And Maggie is sold out. Maggie has been sold out immediately. Same with Susu. Uh, Maddie by Bonnie Brown, everything has been, well, Maddie's open, I think. But uh, Maggie and Susu, they're like 999 kits. Maggie has been, what, out there for like six months since the first babies hit collectors, channels, and accounts. And we can, all, we can already buy or see. We, of course, I, I'm against, I would never buy a fake, but we can see them everywhere now. So I don't really think that it has any impact on that. Susan Atkins, uh, oh, Reborn Hugo says, by throwing this out there, I love having my super rare Grayson. And if his head was released with chase limbs, I might be irked by that. Exactly. Exactly. This is a good point, Ines. Thank you. I would I would be irked if Laura released Queen Lynn with other baby sculpt. With other, uh, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? With other sculpt limbs. And it doesn't matter if it's her... Another like popular edition or not? I just feel, how would you call it? Is it a Quinlan or is it a journey or how are we supposed to call it? They're calling it Harper, but thinking about it, uh, there is equal way or it would be also fair to call it Phoenix because the limbs are from Phoenix. Susan Atkins says, hi Katie, I miss out on Natalie Blick, Blick's last kid. I'm not looking. I'm not looking for it to come back, but would hope I could buy an original kit reasonably from another artist, but I don't hold my breath. Exactly. This is what everybody has been doing. We all know how the game plays, how, how things are going in this hobby, and we are kind of used to it. Don't bring it back, guys, okay? I mean, it is for sculptors. Uh, Reborn get says Blick changes head but repeats limbs. I think Legler has done that before too. Yes, yes, she did. Uh, Susan Atkins says, You know me, I would love to have Chloe, but I did get a Susu. I love Susu. Uh, collectors are, uh, Reborn Hugge says, Collectors are taking all the risks buying limited edition kits. Yes, I would prefer to see new faces and new limbs. I feel the same way. And with prices of blind kits, I'm not saying they're super uber expensive, but think about it. Nowadays, they're about like $110, $120 up, on, up, up to like $150 for newborns, for toddlers even bigger. And I feel, okay, so we're investing in all these limited editions and a lot of people, for a lot of people, that's one of the major deciding factors. And I know that some people say, please don't, don't be like that. Don't be canceling. Nobody's canceling anyone. But I feel like if we are the target of sculptors, the collectors, because we are the people who are buying these dolls. Artists are people who are buying these kits to have them done and sell them. And I feel like we, uh, I'm not saying we should be deciding uh, about sculptors' intellectual property, which is their scalps. I'm not saying that we should have the right, but I feel we should be her. She, we should have been hurt. We should be hurt. I think we all have the right to say how we feel about it. I'm not saying I'm, I, I can't anymore with Andrea. I, 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 I don't like her or whatever. This is not, this is not, nothing personal. I'm talking. I'm just talking about this from collector's perspective. I hope I'm making myself clear. I don't want to get all heated up or anything because I'm, I'm not upset. I am not really Arcello's uh, collector. I don't have her scalp. I love the Harper. And if I had uh, unlimited space and unlimited space uh, with uh, finances, maybe uh, that would be probably one of the scalps that I would love to have. But honestly, I'm not going to buy this scalp. I'm not going to buy this scalp because it's neither Harper, it's neither Phoenix. And it's just um, a little bit upsetting. For someone who prefers limited editions, I find this. 
yes, I do find this a little bit unethical. Um, uh, Mimi Liter says, uh, not only collectors, artists too. I know, I know, I know. You're right, Mimi. And Reborn Hugo says, for argument's sake, my sister, who isn't part of the Reborn community at all, thinks that business is business and the artist has the right to release the kit. Just an outsider point of view. Yes, I, I agree. I mean, it is her sculpt. I, we can't do anything about it. And I don't, I don't think that people are even... I, Honestly, even people who are opposing of opposing opinion, I don't think that any, anyone is really like literally hating on this. But people are not happy about it because I just can't imagine uh, if I bought the kit like literally a couple of ladies said I just got the blank kit and I paid four hundred fifty and one paid almost six hundred dollars. I just literally got it a couple of weeks ago and now there is the second edition. And yes, the first edition is going to have original limbs. It, it will still remain, remain. I gotta say, it will still remain the first original edition. But it is kind of sucky, I feel. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let me see. Uh, Birdie's Baby says, I'm a huge fan of Cassie Brace. I've ordered her new villa. villa. Is anybody feel familiar with this kit? Oh yeah, I love I love Cassie's scalps as well. I didn't get Willa because I'm trying to uh, curb my enthusiasm when it comes to new scalps. There are so many beautiful scalps that are coming. I I kind of would like to have get it done, and then I have my rare kids, as we all do, or many of us, which are uh, Elise. Uh, says, my Natalie Blick twins, Romeo and Juliet, have the same limbs. I didn't realize it before I received the second twin. I have to admit that I was disappointed their limbs were exactly the same. Yes, ladies. So uh, some some sculptors like to do it. Uh, like Natalie Blick and Carola, Carola Vagaric, uh, she, she did that with a lot of her sculpts. So now we have Benjamin. I wonder if Benjamin is going to have twin because that's that's Natalie's thing, kind of like having twins, and if they're going to share the limbs as well. Reborn Riga says I like limited edition kits because it makes the experience of owning that kit more special. Exactly, ladies. Exactly. Okay, so let's talk a little bit here about this feeling special, feeling like okay. I'm paying so much money for this baby. I'm, because it is expensive hobby. I said this is a luxury hobby and someone came onto my uh, under my video and they kind of disagreed, which of course they are entitled to disagree. Charlie, uh, but I still stand by what I said. I do think it is a luxury hobby because it's not necessity. You don't need the doll to survive. Your family doesn't need the dolls to survive. Uh, so yeah, it is hedonistic, luxury, luxurious or luxury hobby. So yeah, if I'm spending all this money and I have the choice, yes, I voluntarily choose to go for limited edition because I don't want to lose a lot of money when reselling the doll. And I'm not saying that open editions are less valuable because ultimately it's up to the reborning process. I've seen a beautiful. Uh, dolls that have been open edition editions and then I've seen totally butchered awful limited edition dolls but still I just you know what I'm saying ladies if I have open and limited I will always go for limited and call me a snob call me whatever if it makes your day I'm just being open and honest here this is how I collect and it, it worked for me for five years for over five years and people say that yeah, these dolls are not investments. I'm sorry, guys. If we're paying two thousand, even if we're paying three hundred or five hundred dollars, you don't want to lose all that money, okay? They they are investments. What would be the point? What would be 
the point of all that research, all the time that we spent finding the perfect sculpt, finding the perfect artist, if uh, we all do it, we all kind of want to have our vision uh, mater materialized by reborning process, we want to find that special baby because we're paying all this money. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful and it's all honky-dory that we love the babies and uh, they make us happy and everything. On the other hand, yes, it's a lot of money and I don't want to lose all that money. So if, thanks goodness, Laura just posted announcement this morning that she's not going to be releasing any of her limited editions sold out. She's not bringing them back. And uh, I am very grateful for that. I am very, very grateful that she's not going to do it because, yes, I'm one of those people who are guilty of paying a lot of money for uh, rare blank kits. And I'm now, I'm quite proud of my collection of my rare blanks, which I'm not sharing usually on my channel. I will maybe share them in a, in a future. I have more blanks than I have finished babies at this point. And I, I feel, okay, even if I don't, uh, get them all done, and don't kill me for saying this, ladies, I'm not going to lose money on that blank kit. I'm not going to make money on it, but I will never lose. If I'm going to sell it, I will sell it for what I paid. Let's say even if we say, if we sell it for what we paid, we're not going to lose because yes, th that's what I call investment. That's what I call using my brains when collecting something. And I don't care what people say. And I will be probably crucified, per usual, but that's nothing new here. Okay, let me go back. Uh, Maribeth, uh, Forever Young Little Angel says, if they are going to release the, uh, their kit again, then don't call them limited editions. Just call them first edition, second, uh, etc. Exactly. Yes. Or just don't do it. If you have be, if you released a limited edition kit seven years ago, and now this kit is valuable, and so many people are loving it, they're spending all, all these like extra money. They're pay, overpaying what they the, what the retail used to be. Just don't do it to your collectors. I just I don't know an artist as well. Because a lot of artists have these kits and they keep them sitting on them literally, and then they will offer them customers as like special, let's say like candy, okay? Like special bonus baby. Each year I will offer this rare sold out limited edition kit uh, to my, let's say, faithful buyers or good customers or whatever. <clears throat> so a lot, because I know, a lot of artists, they still have like amazing stashes of blank kits. Amazing. Now imagine they have been sitting on them and they have been buying them for all, all this money. And then can you imagine all these kits being re-released? People would be so upset. I don't understand why some people can't comprehend how upsetting this could be. So many people have been collecting these rare kits. And sold out kit. Um, Reborn guess says, yeah, but yes, paying a lot of a lot for the original edition for uh, from the secondary market is a risky venture. Yes, they're not to um, they're not entitled to disagree. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, we didn't invent this so high price market. And anyway, the market dictates that. It all starts when someone decides to pay 300 for a soul kit. It sets it in stone and more will follow. Exactly. Exactly. Just like with the prices of prototypes, these prices are dragging all the prices of all other artists' work up there. Same goes with blank kits, ladies. I, Inez is right. Who invented this? Certainly not me or her because we haven't been uh, this long on in the community what we have been around like actively for six years this has been going on for years and years so don't pin it on us it is what it is just because we're talking about it 
doesn't mean that doesn't mean we invented it. I just feel nobody talks about it. Yet. This is what our channels have been since the beginning. We have been doing this since the beginning. I just feel like we will just like to point the fingers that it is what it is, guys. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do or it's the bad thing to do. It's just the thing that's happening. You know what I mean? Uh, Maribel says, I prefer a limited edition. That's fun of being a collector, getting something rare that not. Exactly. Exactly. Here we have Mar Maribel, who you is saying the same thing. Maribel has been loving her babies and everything, but she, Maribel, you have, to, you have to admit, you are so happy because you have Lulu and it it feel it feels kind of certain way when you have this blank kit in your possession and then one day down the road uh you go on eBay and you see the prices of this blank kit and your jaw drops not because you are going to list that kit to make the money the second day it just kind of makes you feel okay I I invested my money into a good thing. So this kid is 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 sold out. It's popular. His value is growing. I made the right decision when I was deciding, let's say, between two or three kids. I picked the right one. Let's admit this. Let's be honest here for a second. How does it feel, ladies, as a collector or as an artist? It feels darn good, doesn't it? Um, uh, Reborn Hugo says, uh, it's the same school of thought why people paid up the bazoo for prototypes, but I don't want to stray from the topic too much. Yes, yes, I agree, but it, it is. It is the same thing. And Lati Ivan says, hello, hello. Reborn Hugo says, I'm hoarding Emma key, Emma blank and painted kit, but I do it to have something truly special. Yes, I know. I know, I, I'm holding a couple of the kids too. Speaking of those kids, okay, so here is Daniel looking all toasty. He looks like he was lying on a sun on my patio for way too long. Uh, let me bring him up, maybe, probably, if... Uh, he looks yellow. This is not his uh, true color, so let me take this child. And let me butcher another baby in a bad light. And that's going to be my queenling. Since we're talking about rare kids. Uh, this is my pride and joy. This baby. This is my queenling by Lorali Eagle. This is my Catherine. Here she is. All vision in pink. I think she looks a little bit better. Ugh. He, he doesn't look like a crispy bacon like my son. I don't know. <laughs> Does she? Lord have mercy with this light, guys. It's so bad. You know what? I'm going to fiddle with this lamp for a second. If I bump into you and then there goes my light. It looks awful, like awful nice right now. Let's have this like a break in theater. Oh, me fiddling with this and okay. And my Bob is now dying. This is like a Murphy's Law. It's like gods of reborns are mad for me going live and talking about this. Okay. Okay, I think this is better. What do you think, ladies? Alrighty, so this is my Queenlyn. She is my. I have been looking for this baby. I started collecting in 2015. I opened my channel or I started my channel in 2016. And Esme was the first skull that I really wanted. That was by Laura Lee Eagles. I got two as me. I, uh, I have a blank kit into, in my possession that I plan on having done one day. Not the reason, not, not like really soon because I have had as me for so many years that I kind of can live without her right now in my collection. Uh, and Quinlan was one, was the second one. Uh, 
and Quinlan was released in 2014, she has been sold out immediately. And ever since, her value has been growing. This has been one of those sculpts that I call, uh, I really like to call like uh, a good investment. I know how it sounds. Some people don't like it, but whatever. I can already see. Or I'm not going into that. But anyway, so this is Quinlan. Uh, I got her well, like three years ago. She was done as a custom. And since then, I acquired extra blank kit. I hoarded one more kit. I paid for that kit more than some people pay for finished doll. Now, just thinking about it, that Laura would come, she's not going to do it, but imagine, I can't imagine just one day waking up and Laura releasing Quinlan because so many people say, I have missed on this baby. I would love to have this baby. I totally understand, ladies. I felt like that for years when I saw Quinlan sculpts. But I have been working my rear end off and I was doing my legwork. I was actively, constantly searching. And you have to know, uh, when that blank kit was released, uh, not released, when that blank kit that I purchased was offered on a secondary market, the price was atrocious, okay? Not going to lie. A lot of people were interested in there. And when they were told the price, they were like, oh, I can't do it. Oh my God, that's too much. We have to realize, when someone is selling the kid like this, or a Grayson, or Amelia, or Lulu, or uh, any other rare kid, they're not going to ask $250 for that kid. You need to have your money ready. It is what it is. So some people were getting upset and I said, yeah, well, these people, this, a lot of them are holding these kids during pre-orders. That's, uh, I think, the topic for another day. But I, uh, I, I just wanted to bring Catherine on because she is one of these kids. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I would not be happy. I would not be happy if there was another edition of Quinlan. And it doesn't matter if she would come with original limbs or mixed up lanes. I think that would be even more awful because I wouldn't know how to feel about it. That would not be Quinlan anymore. Without this adorable hand or these chunky legs, I just feel this is the Quinlan, okay? The whole magic of the sculpt is in the head and limbs together. I can't imagine having Quinlan head released as second edition with a different sculpt limbs. That would not be Quinlan in my eyes. That would be, I don't even know. I would still not buy it though. Oh, oh my God, she's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Bring her up close. Okay, let me bring Catherine. Hopefully you will be able to see her. I, I don't interact with this baby a lot because I want to preserve her the light again i don't know if you will be able to see she has a lot of little baby rash and capillaries and all that shebang oh this is her hair and i wanted to change her but i feel like i'm not, i'm going to keep her in this pink thing what do you think ladies i think she looks cute in it Ines, I would love to see all of your Emmas with your blanks as well. Because Ines is, <laughs> she's, she, she is, she stacked it up even much higher with her Emmas. She has three of them. Uh, she has a vinyl, she has silicone medium. She has one in silicone. She also has her blank kit. That's what I call the Emma through like fan club. That's like going full on speed. I love that. I just love that. And it's so nice to have this thrill, this thrill of the hunt. And I would just rather miss on many scalps, but to be able to score some of them and just to keep it interesting because after so many years and after buying so many dolls, it, 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 it may get a little bit boring. 
you know what I'm I, I think everybody hits this point like oh another doll I don't even know do I want it I, I would love to have it and it's cute face and then a couple of weeks down the road you're like eh I can do without it so you know we can do uh, only as much with these babies unless we're like completely actively living in this role play thing I'm not so for me uh there is only limited um number of activities I can do within this hobby <laughs> you know what I mean so yeah it can get boring so this whole limited edition and rare stuff or like special stuff that I'm looking for it spices it up a little bit it's kind of like uh, at least for me it brings more like excitement into collecting and then yeah you know how many times I have to say just no I have to kind of like come to terms okay I'm not just going to have the baby uh, no matter what because I just can't I just don't have the money right at this moment when the blank kit is sold or I feel uh, I, I just can't pay uh, or I don't agree with the price or whatever it's usually usually when something like this happens to us, it's usually not the right time and we are in the middle of paying for something else. Uh, for usually, uh, in my case, it's usually the custom orders or something else. So, but still, it's it, I like it, okay? I like that feeling of being excited about something, to have something special, looking forward, uh, searching. And, you know, if, if the time is right and if everything works out and you score that kick, it's truly, it, I, I love, I, I love Catherine and I, and I still love Quinlan, like a lot. I still have my blanket stashed and I would like to have her done. But in my case, I'm kind of nervous because I'm afraid that I will lose the bond with Catherine or I will not be able to bond with that one. So I kind of keep on that, I, I keep holding that off, but I still have it. I mean, I have it stashed in there. It's sitting there. It's not going anywhere. And it feels good. Sometimes I would just go and I would just peek into my blank closet. And that's another secret. My my dirty little secret. I just go to peek at my blank kids ladies. Okay. Here and there. And I feel this feeling of accomplishment. I'm like, okay. Not, not all that bad. Not all that bad. From collector's point of view, of course. I'm talking about... I, I don't want to anyone to think, okay, I live, collectors are totally obsessed with their dolls. They're not living in a normal life. They don't realize reality. Let's just make it clear, ladies. Uh, well, not for all of us, but for all of the other ones who are watching, maybe someone who is not within the hobby, who doesn't understand. We are collectors, and now we are discussing this from collector's point of view, an artist, of course, because I know that artists are collectors as well. And we have a lot of ladies, the artists who are watching, and hello, Mimi, and hello, Natalia, out there. Okay, so let me catch up. Oh, Lord. Uh... Reborn Rebor says, I'm so tired of counterfeits, but I don't think re releasing soul kit is the solution. That's a weak rat rational rationalization at best. I agree with that. No, uh, well, yes, I agree with Ines. I just don't see the, I, I don't understand because so many open editions have been uh, immediately, like how many fake Rosalies, how many twins, A's and B's, how many even Levi's, Saskia's, Oh my goodness, which one is open for Morally Eagles? Her kids are more and more now copied as well, which is totally like crazy. Now I've seen Ava, which is limited edition, but I, I just want to say th this is not about limited editions. I just feel like there at this point, anything and everything just goes with Chinese factories. Before it was just certain sculptors. Now I now I see everything is being copied. Just like two nights ago, I was talking to Ines in the evening, and I sent her uh, from eBay. There's this like fake Maggie, and you can pick from blonde and dark version. 
like brunette hair. It's they went that far, guys. Okay. Now they're offering even the finished dolls of various combinations of hair and eyes. I don't know if uh, what nonsense you're going to receive. You just like I just want people to know that they're not going to receive a nice doll. It's usually atrocity what they're sending. Mm. Reborn Higgins says, I'm an Emma hoarder. I wasn't thrilled the silicone Emma was in a way was in a way re-released. Yeah, I, I've seen that discussed as well. So, so um ladies, who else who else has uh, uh the, their favorite sculpt in vinyl and then the sculpt has been re-released in, in silicone? How do you feel about that? I you know what, Ines, I would really like to hear your uh, how, how you stand on that, like uh, your opinion. I hope you will go live or you will make a video about this because this is a really like pressing matter. I don't know where is going, to, where this is going to end and how, because I see the, as of the moment when I was right before I went live, people were still heated up and they were just fighting on Facebook. I'm not saying we should be fighting. I'm not saying that, okay? I think everybody needs to re remain calm no panic, no nonsense, but I just hope that this is not going to become a, a normal practice. Because, you know, okay, so Harper is out with Phoenix limbs. No, no, we're not going to do anything about it. Uh, we can't change it, obviously, but I just hope this is not going to be like a common thing from now on. Uh, Tina says, uh, I don't understand how re -re how re-releasing limited editions could affect the counterfeit market. Yes, I don't understand the reasoning either. Quite honestly, people were saying uh, they feel that if artists will bring more limited editions or more kits, like offering more, like in, in numbers, it's going to kind of like. I don't know what's why. Quite honestly, yeah. When I'm when I think about it, it's not about that. Uh, the fakes. It's just because people want cheap stuff. They don't want to pay 150. They would rather pay 60 or 70 dollars for a fake, which I don't understand. But I think that's the that's the point. I don't think it has to do anything with limited editions or open editions. It's just the price. People want cheap doll. They think they're kind of like hoping in a miracle. They know at this point, everybody has been talking about fakes and counterfeits. This is not like it used to be two or three years ago. It's information is out there. Everybody is constantly talking like uh, all big channels. You have groups, you have specialized groups only that are like focused on this so you can get the information out there i'm not like, talking about unknowing grandparents who are shopping for doll. i'm talking about people within this community who know and who still buy that stuff so i just don't understand it either because as i said uh, limited or open i've seen them copied every uh, like i keep repeating myself look at rosalie rosalie is open Okay, let me, let me go back, ladies. Ali says, hello. Um, hello, message didn't go through. I see. So hi, Katie, Ines, and you other ladies. Very nice to see you all. I've seen you, Alice. Hi, hi, darling. I'm sorry. Ladies, if I'm skipping your comments, that not, it's not, that's not on purpose. I'm just sitting here on my soapbox, running my mouth. mouth so I'll just try to keep uh, my eye. Uh, Reborn Hugga says, playing the devil's advocate, why wasn't anyone mad about the partial cloth body silicones release after the sole vinyl kit? Yeah, that's a good one. I, I, I would like to hear, I wish we could kind of like um, all go live and discuss this like friends sitting around the table. I would love to hear your opinions on this. 
I know, I know. You mean the ones in um uh, like Emma Lux, Elise. Elise is in silicone. Elise by Cassie Brace. I love the scalp. I paid a lot for the blank. I saw the blank though later on, but she came back uh in a silicone as well. Jaden, Jaden came back with the full limbs though. <clears throat> Uh, Bernice Bay Weasley says, which scalp are you talking about, Ines? Ines says, uh, most of the partial silicones released by McPherson's were solo vinyl scalps. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Um, Linda, when you have, like, Lux, it was sold out a long time ago, or Jaden, or Emma, okay? Emma and Jaden by Natalie Shaw, Emma that Ines is hoarding, actively, because she loves that scalp. Ever since I've known her, she wanted that scalp. That scalp has been sold out forever. I think there were only 200 kids released years ago. 200 kids, ladies. That's like literally nothing compared to worldwide base of collectors. And Emma was re-released in a silicone medium, what, like two years ago, together with a lot of other scalps with Jaden which is uh, Jaden, original Jaden had three quarter arms, a silicone Jaden, Jaden has full arms, and you have lugs, you have Elise. Ooh, there's a lot of scouts. All of them were limited editions, and most of them have been sold out. And they were brought back in a silicone medium. So yes, I kind of feel, eh, there may be some people who were not happy about that, collectors. And his little nursery says, I don't think collectors get upset over a partial silicone release after a soul vinyl because it's a different medium and I don't seem and don't seem to be in large quantities. And Reborn Hugo says, but I have my Emma because I love this scalp so much. So how could I pass up opportunity to experience her in silicone? See? Yes. Now, there we go. Exactly. Now, where do you go with this, ladies? On one hand, here I am ranting about uh, how I am against re-releasing, but the second I could make, I could get my hands on silicone versions of the kit, sold out kit, I would do it, and I actually have a little surprise coming my way on my channel, ladies. So that's that. It's like a double measure or double sword, you call it. So at, at least it's a different medium. I feel like I'm excusing now me putting my foot into my mouth in this way. At least it's a different medium. And I mean, it's partial silicone. Not so many people are. A lot of people are getting it, but not as much as they would if the kid was released in vinyl. I feel, you know what I mean? It's different to pay 120 versus almost like $900 for a blind kid. That's how I feel. Because it, it always comes down to the money and the prices. Always. <clears throat> uh, says, and I know that it was a popular justification for the release of partial silicones of soul scalps. Yes, that's, it's a different medium. Exactly. And Birdie's Baby says, that's what I'm saying. It's all about money for the sculptors, artists, dealers, and yes, collectors, as has been discussed here. Exactly. And Reborn Hugo says, I'm 90% against re-releasing soul scalps. 90% in as seriously, I what is the, the the 10%? It's connected to the silicone medium. Uh, Daisy May. No, I don't know who's Daisy May not. Uh, Birdie's baby, the Rosalie partial silicone is really gorgeous. Yes, yes, Rosalie has exactly. Uh, Rosalie has a silicone too. There, there is a partial silicone. Mary Beth for every young little angels. I think re, re I think releasing them in a different medium is an excuse to re-release a soul kit. I agree, Ines. So Mary Beth stands there. <clears throat> Tina says double standard. I think you mean exactly. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, that's what I meant. Uh, Mrs. Harry's Journey. Hello, I'm glad second editions are being released. I just ordered a harp by, harp by Andrea Arcello. I refuse to pay someone for a soul for hundreds 
over the sculptor's original price. And I totally uh, respect uh, your opinion. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for uh, participating because, you know, there's a lot of people who are just quietly watching or probably eating their popcorn or not, not saying so. I respect where you stand on this. Thank you for coming and saying it openly. And Reborn Higa says, yes, the partial McPherson silicones are in smaller quantities, but they don't specify if these silicone kits are limited or not. Yes, that, that, that's another thing that I noticed. And I, I am not really knowledgeable in silicone world. You know that I have never owned silicone. Uh, everything that I, uh, that I know, I basically learned on YouTube, on other channels and groups, mostly from Inessie's channel, because I have been watching her doing all these videos, and, and she's been bringing a lot of wonderful information for everyone who doesn't even know about silicon for beginners, where to get it and, and how and everything. So if you go to Reborn Huguet, ladies and gents, she has playlists there and she has all information how to start. That's what I've been watching because I, I would like to get maybe my feet wet at some point, but it's hard. So, and silicones are different. I, I mean, the process of call, of finding the good sculpt and what you want to do and who you want to have it done and, and all that. It is kind of similar, but it's not completely the same. So if you would like to get that, that information, ladies, uh, I highly recommend going to Ines's channel. She has a lot of information there. I just wanted to put it out there. That's like off topic here with the limited editions, but. <clears throat> uh, in essence, 10% uh, is connected to the silicon medium, but also when it comes to the Arcello Harper, I'm on the fence if it's good or bad because of the limbs. But if would I would be irked if it, if it were Grayson. <laughs> So we're good, we're okay because it's Harper, because we don't have Harper, but we would not be okay if it was one of the scouts that we like. See, that's what I, mean. I know, I'm the same. That's so, yeah, okay, that's the 10%. <laughs> You're funny. <coughs> and Reborn Huga says, Mrs. Harris, so you want the Harper for the face because it's not actually like original Harper, it has Frankenstein link. So, yeah, that's the thing, ladies. Okay, so I wonder, I would like to hear from Miss Harris. If she could, uh, how do you feel? So are, so you feel like the head is the most important and you don't care about the limbs? You don't care if uh, uh, the second edition has different limbs? How would you feel, ladies, okay? Like all of you out there. Please, please feel free to comment. This is not, and nobody's going to do anything to, even if you don't agree with me or anyone who's participating there, just please come on, just say, it. come on, ladies, before I go, I want to hear more opinions. How do you feel? I'm now I'm clapping my hands like in us. How do you feel about it? So you feel like, okay, really, this is not like really releasing it because it's only the head and you don't, you don't care that it's the different limbs or how, how do you feel? Tell me, tell me, because I want to know. I don't think I would be thrilled if there would be second edition of Quinlan with any limbs, her original limbs or the secondary limbs, like from another style. But how do you feel? I, I, I want to hear this. Uh, Mrs. Harris, I don't feel that it's Frankenstein. I think it's a different version. Uh, my baby bugaboos, I wouldn't care if legs were different, but I would like to like the legs. So. Uh, you you don't you don't care if it is the same legs. You just want to like the shape of the limbs, right? You don't care uh, if it's the original limbs or from another scalp. Okay. Uh, Reborn, okay. I don't think everyone knows that the limbs on this new Harper release has different limbs. Yes, lady. So let me let me repeat because I was saying it at the beginning. Maybe probably you haven't been here yet. Harper. Second edition has been released with original head, but the limbs are coming from Phoenix, from a different skull. The limbs are not of original Harper. Second edition has only original, is only the head. 
the limbs are different from Phoenix scalp, ladies and gents. For everyone who just arrived. Thank you, Ines, for pointing that out. Mm. Banana, banana, banana peanut butter pizza with jelly. I want to be parent of the whole doll in a way. The dolph, dolphins in my arms as realistic as possible. My dolls are therapy dolls, so it means a lot to me. The more realistic they appear, I only have three. And Mrs. Harry's journey doesn't uh, devalue the original version. It's a matter of preference because some limbs just aren't uh, cute to me. Like I like Lulu, but I'm not super fan of the limbs. So, so basically, Mrs. Harry's, uh, you like the Harper's head, and you're fine with Phoenix limbs, right? That's what you're saying. You like the fe you like the shape of Phoenix limbs, and. Uh, Reborn Higa says, I say Frankenstein because the limbs being used are from another stuff. Yeah, ladies, for all newer collectors, uh, when we say Frankenstein limbs, that's not, uh, we're not, that's not like a bad word, okay? It, it's like a normal term that is used in artists and collectors uh, circles. When you mix uh, the head and the limbs of two or more scallops, okay? And it it may be like from the same sculptor. Some people are even using, a lot of people are using uh, Levi limbs with different heads of the same size sculpt. I noticed that because Levi limbs are so cute and those little legs and everything, super popular. And I noticed that they, they're kind of like switching the heads. I see more Levi limbs being used with different heads than Levi had used with different links, if I'm making any sense here. Um, <clears throat> a banana peanut butter pizza with jelly must have chubby legs and refined feet as well. Um, Mrs. Harris Journey agrees. Uh, Reborn says, I find it weird when people sell Levi with Levi head and other cute links. To me, Levi's limbs are the best sculpted limbs of all time. Bonnie is the queen of limbs. Yes, yes. And I, uh, as I said, did you notice how, how many people, sometimes they even love the, the faces on other scalps, newborn scalps. Of course, you have to match the limbs with the head of the same age, okay? You can be mixing, or you shouldn't be at least, I feel, mixing Charlie. Uh, the toddler head with newborn limbs. That would look funky. Now, that would look weird. Come on, Charlie. But yes, I, I totally, I totally notice how people are using uh, Levi's limbs a lot with different scalps head. <clears throat> what is it they say? Uh, Mrs. Harris Journey, yes, the face is most important to her as a collector. So, so there you have it. There, there's another point of view. Maribeth Forever Young's Little Angels, if it was re-released, I would want the whole baby, not a hybrid. Isn't using two different soul kids' heads and limbs means you are releasing both? Both. Uh, this is a good point and good question, Mar Maribeth. I was asking the, uh, the same thing. I was actually, we were talking about this with Ines. I, I I wanted to hear her opinion before I went live, and this is the thing that we were asking too. Like now, is it because they're calling it Harper? But in reality, you have vinyl parts from two soul kids. So how do you determine? Is this exactly? This is a good point. I would like to ask this uh, other artists and sculptors, and and maybe even Andrea. How did she come up with this? Uh, solution why 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 to mix these links is how is phoenix ladies i'm not familiar with andreas and Arch archelos stuff and uh i don't know a whole lot about her additions but is phoenix sold out as well excuse me ladies i was so thirsty Uh, 
Uh, Birdie's baby is like Alinda says, I want the sculptor envisioned in the first place to each his own. True. And Reborn he says, Faith is important to me too. It is eBay first. Uh, uh, it is what first attracts me to a scalp, but if the limbs are whacked, that's the deal breaker for me. <laughs> yes, I know. Ines is very super picky about the limbs. Yes, that's true. I, I I look at the limbs as well. First is the uh, face is the first thing that I notice. It's true. I think most of us we're looking because usually you know what, ladies. I feel like a lot of scouts uh, every time they introduce them to us, they start from the face. I mean, I think that's logical way to go. First, they they will start sculpting the face, and then they will try to match the limbs. I would think. As a sculptor, I would start with the face because the face kind of gives the whole feel, the whole character. Is this going to be a newborn? Is this going to be a preemie? Is this going to be a happy baby? Is this going to be a little like scrunchy face, little swollen face or a little scrawny baby? And then they will match their limbs. So I would think, I don't know, at least that's what I would do if I was a sculptor. I would just start with the head. Mm. Reborn again says, Maribet, I agree. I want the whole baby with original kit or with original limbs. People love Harper face. I think Phoenix is sold out too, not sure. That's what I I, I forgot to look. Mm. Mrs. Harry's journey says, when I order it, says the kid will have special COA just for the kid. So that's that's good. I mean. Since it's the whole addition, it should be coming with COA because Andrea's whole point was uh, to kind of like fight counterfeits. So therefore, I feel, yeah, the kids, I I'm glad that she's doing COAs at least. <clears throat> um, Mrs. Harris, does COA list it as a limited edition? Yeah, well, yeah. How, what, what, about the second edition, is this going to be a limited? That's another thing. That's kind of like I, I didn't notice. And Mrs. Herger, yes, with a limited time to buy too. Thank you. Okay, so that's 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 that makes sense. And Maribel says, Yes, I believe Phoenix is soul. Uh Reborn Hinka says, Mrs. Harris, that is interesting. Harper has and Huxley limbs. How will COA look? Also, Susu and Maggie share limbs and they share they each have their own COA. Same deal with Yannick and Tuti. See, guys, okay, so we are getting into very interesting territory here, and that's exactly, yeah. So what's so now the limbs of Susu and Maggie, which I own Maggie. And yeah, she has her own, so I think uh, COA, I've seen this video, I just remembered years ago, I can't remember who made this video, it was an artist. And they were saying, when they're, uh, Spelling the hybrid babies, or was it on Facebook? I think they said that the baby always, if if there is a head and limbs kind of mixed, she said that uh, she sent the head COA with the baby, that the head determines the COA, not the limbs on the skull. So therefore, that would make sense because uh, as Ines pointed out, uh, Yannick and Tuti share the limbs, and they have both different COAs. Same goes with Susu and Maggie. So uh, I feel, okay, so that's why it's Harper and not Phoenix, because it's a Harper's head. Well, there we go, ladies. That's that's interesting. I like this. I like the discussion. Uh Mrs. Harris Journey says, I'm glad uh, she will get the money and not the counterfeit folks. Uh, and Little Nursery says, but how does it fight uh, how does how does it fight counterfeit long term if the re-release is limited again? Yeah, well, I think this is this is where we can we can safely all agree, even if you are fine with this, ladies. And once again, I want to stress it's fine to have different opinions on this, okay? 
as long as we are all able to discuss this peacefully and having fun like we are having nobody nobody's upset here i, I love this discussion okay ladies uh but i think we can all agree this i don't feel like limited or open additions have any impact on uh counterfeit kids ladies seriously I see more counterfeits being done for open editions than I see for limited editions. Let's not let's not forget all these open editions that are, have been massively produced and sold for years, like massively. I I can't even tell you how many uh, Saskias and how many Twin A's and B's I've seen. How many Rosalies now are out there? <laughs> there goes reborn media Ines. I'm still 90% opposed to release. So <laughs> we, we need to have this printed on t shirts. I like that. That's so funny. Birdies, ladies, I recently heard an artist say that Bonnie Brown sculpts were the easiest to paint. Almost paint by number. Probably why we have so many beautiful Bonnie Brown babies. That's interesting. I haven't heard that. What do you mean? Like the, uh, because they're so detailed and so realistic that you kind of don't even know, uh, need to know how to paint properly? Or what do you mean, Linda? Or what, what do you think that poster meant? Uh, Tina says, any I agree, very confusing. Reborn Hunger says, it doesn't fight counterfeits. It just ensures the sculptor gets in on the money from the doll's popularity. I tend to agree here, ladies. This is about the money. This has nothing to do with counterfeits. And it's fine to just say it. I, I don't understand uh, this counterfeit reasoning, quite honestly, in this case. And, you know, uh, I am very open about talking about fakes and I, I ha how I despise the whole counterfeit market. And honestly, I just don't see this as a solution whatsoever. I have tried, I have been thinking since yesterday about it very deeply, ladies. I even had my strongest latte, uh, my coffee and everything. And I still don't see it. I still don't see the connection because... I don't see any pattern. I don't see limited editions being uh, counterfeit more than open editions. So I tend to agree here with ladies who are saying this is not really about that. It's about just, you know, about the money. Uh, Ribonica says, I, it ensures the sculptor gets on, in on the money from the doll's popularity, which... The artist should because she sculpted it. Yes. So when yesterday when I brought this up to Ines because she was at work, she, that was the first thing she said. I totally agree that artists should be getting the profit from their own sculpts. And it's uh, that's what Ines told me. And I I have to agree with her. This whole stealing, this whole uh, fake China nonsense, it's getting too far. Okay. I totally, totally agree here with Ines and on that. Yeah, if someone should be getting money, that should be the sculptor because it's their self. They did sculpt it. So I totally understand that. I just don't agree with this fake reasoning that it's going to help in any way. Because how? How? These fake Harpers will still cost $70 and second re-release will cost, okay, what, like $120? It's still more. There will still be people who will say, eh, no, I'm just going to buy this fake Harper because it's half the price or what not. Uh, Tina, what is the best way to fight counterfeit? Everyone not buying without COA. Tina, unfortunately, newest developments, um, a lot of new fakes are coming with COAs. I don't know. I was talking to Laura because I first see the first fake COA that I've seen was with Charlotte of 11 months, the little chubby toddler of Laura Legos, uh, her, her newest release, and one of the newest, uh, newer releases from the last year, because she had, she had a couple of more sculpts coming. She, has, she still has them coming. But uh, that one had the COA. 
and it was exactly looking like the real kit except we can't tell if these fake ones are showing any numbers because obviously limited edition COAs they will have the numbers so uh, I, nobody has seen it in person nobody that I know nobody from Laurel Eagles group because obviously we are serious collectors we're not buying that stuff so nobody could tell, okay, do these fake COAs come with the number, which would be interesting if they came because they would probably just use one number. So what, like everybody would be having the kid number, let's say 112 or what? So I, that's, I kind of don't know. I've been looking for some answers with these COAs and I don't know if they come numbered or not, but the, some kids, fake ones, they come with COAs, ladies and gents. Also, you can purchase COA separately on eBay for many scalps. I've seen them uh, being sold separately. You know, sometimes uh, people will displace the COA. They will sell the doll without the COA. It was a normal practice back in a day when there were no fakes or not so many scalps have been copied because, okay, a lot of people, they don't care about COA. Now everybody cares because there's this counterfeit market. But before, a lot of people were like, eh, well, that's fine. I'll just, I'll, I still want the baby because I love the baby. So, And then down the road, maybe the previous owner found COAs or artists. They were moving. Uh, and when they were organizing the stash, they would find these displays COA. So they were trying to kind of like offer them for a couple of bucks on eBay. You could actually buy the COA of many limited edition scalps, like real COAs from even the big artists on eBay, even a couple of years back. I've seen it happen. Uh, and I've seen these COAs being sold. So sometimes I wonder because I'm, um, there was this fake Quinlan uh, scandal couple of months ago and you could you could tell the vinyl was different but the doll had the COA and uh, people were questioning okay this obviously is not real Quinlan how did this kit come to be with real COA numbered and signed that must have been the kit that someone purchased the COA separately and also I don't know Ines if you remember that so-called prototype that was sold it was not a prototype doll. It was the Ramsey. It was not the prototype Ramsey, but it was sold as a prototype for a year and a, uh, and a half ago on Instagram with the real prototypes COA. How did this COA was paired with this doll is beyond me. But there is this whole thing that is happening, obviously, with people just, I don't know, it's how how did this happen because this ramsey that was sold that was not a prototype but he was coming with a prototype with cassie brace's signals signed from, from the different doll ladies okay now that's that's another level of shady right there don't get me started i i that that's something that totally gets my feathers ruffled um <clears throat> Okay, ladies, I'm going to just uh, scroll back. I think, Maribet says, I think it's different when the kids are made to be related. Many twins have the same limbs. I think it's, I'm probably the newest here. Yeah, that, I think that's the whole uh, thought process uh, behind repeating the limbs on the twin scalps. I agree with that. Uh, Tina says, I'm new to the hobby, still learning, but I had no idea any of this was going on. Uh, Mrs. Harris Journey says, not only counterfeits, but also gives money to people who charge triple the price of a soul kit. Recently, uh, recently a Lulu blank sold for over 2000 and things like that are not fair to the sculptors. Uh, yes, I, I, I know what you mean. I'm one of those people who paid a lot of money for blanks. I don't sell them, but uh, yeah, I am one of those buyers who, will, who yeah, I, I'm guilty of that. So I, I can't really go <laughs> discussing this, ladies, because you know uh, how I operate. I have been pretty open about it on my channel. Uh, 
Reborn says, Mrs. Harris, I'm not against people profiting of legit legitimate rare soul key. If the artist wanted to profit from the sculpt unlimited and for infinity, they shouldn't make it a limited edition to begin with. That is a very, very interesting uh, point of view. I, I, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. Yes, I totally agree about this with Inez here. Because I think I think it's safe to say yes, all limited editions of popular artists, especially you know I think uh, if we are here, if the co uh, collectors are hands on, I mean actively uh, being like participating in a community and uh, watching the progress of sculptors, you know pretty much you will get. Uh, I think it comes with experience and with the miles under your belt. But after some times, I think a lot of people are able to say, okay, this is going to be a popular sculpt. And if this is going to be a limited edition, I think we, it's, uh, it's safe to say, yeah, this limited edition will sell out quickly. Like, like there is no tomorrow. Look at Benjamin. How many minutes it took? Like in 10 minutes? Same with Esme. I think Esme years ago, it was eight minutes. Eight minutes, all kids gone worldwide it doesn't matter if you had your alarm on if you weren't fast to check out that card within a couple of minutes you lost ladies forget it so i think it's pretty much safe to say that yeah benjamin a lot of people probably got multiples and they will yeah unfortunately it is what it is a lot of people probably got the kit and they will be trying to sell it for double the price probably already doing it well well no not yet because we haven't people haven't received the kids physically but you know it's going to happen and i think sculptors know that this is well not not think i actually talked to laura because uh, uh there are a couple of <laughs> i think people in a community who are known to do this uh, i've seen quinlan kids being blind kids sold for over 2002 and uh, Laura knows about this, and she she's she's not really upset about it. Well, you know, she's a very professional sculptor, so I don't think that any sculptor will just come and discuss this and say, "Oh yeah, it's upsetting." Of course not. But I think they count on it. Okay, every time they release, as as Ines said, every time they release limited edition, I think they know this is going to happen, especially with certain sculpts and certain sculptors. You know that everybody's waiting for certain scalps. I mean, do I have to go into details, ladies? You know which ones I mean. People have been sitting on pins and needles and now, Charlie, and nothing has been happening. So if this, this scalp was limited edition, it would be sold out probably and already people would be lined up willing to pay three, four hundred dollars because they just want that scalp. And it doesn't matter. It's what the market dictates. Uh, okay, let me let me let me just scroll because I I missed a lot, ladies. Uh, uh, Mrs. Harris Journey agree to disagree. I'm against it. It's not a painted doll. A blanket should never sell for triple the price. That's wrong. Uh, Reborn just says, if the price I'm willing to pay for Soul Kid, which is why I'm only 90% against re releasing Soul Scalps. Um, Mrs. Harris Journey, where would you, this hobby be if sculptors charge 800 for a blank kit? So, why would someone get paid that much of someone else's work? Uh, Birdie's Baby says, uh, and Bonnie Brown's scalps are so detailed that they just know where to put the shading. I brought body creasing, etc. It was very interesting, but I can see she was probably right. Oh, okay, okay. So Linda, uh, Linda was answering my question, uh, my previous question. Thank you, Linda. Reborn says, oh, that woman with Ramsey saying it was prototype when it wasn't. Not the last time someone, uh, someone did that. Yes, remember that in us, that was the case with the Ramsey thing. And it was, I don't understand. I don't understand how that COA 
And what happened to the prototype doll? Because obviously this DOA was uh, paired with the doll that was not a prototype by totally different artists. And uh, I don't even know. And the, the thing is, somewhere in a process, someone had to have both dolls in their possession. And when sending one off, they would mix up the COAs and someone new probably bought the one with COA. Uh, or I have no even idea how that happened. But that was the weirdest thing ever with that prototype, Ramsey. Uh, Maribet says, Mrs. Harris, that's the whole point of collecting, having some, some something someone else doesn't have. And if they want to get it from you, they must be willing to pay the price. Uh, we be those as hi, ladies. Hi, Wendy. <clears throat> uh, Reborn Hugge says, a scalper needs their kit sold. They can't predict um, if limited edition kit will do well or not. Mrs. Harris uh, your hypothetical has holes. Uh, Birdie's baby says, I could never understand why some collectors didn't care if they got COA or not. If you do not require a COA, you're not a true collector. Uh, okay. Let me, I'm, I'm, I'm just scrolling here, ladies. I need to see. Well, about that COA. I, I really want my COAs with my dolls. Uh, I've heard also opinion when people said they don't care really. Uh, well, they, they do care about COAs. But sometimes with open editions, uh, they're not limited and uh, they're constant, like readily available still. They do not, some people don't care about paperwork. They, they just want like artist paperwork. So they when they sell the, uh, the doll down the road, they would have uh, all the information, who made the doll and all that. But uh, they, can, they can overlook missing COA, especially with open editions. So uh, there was one of the arguments that I've heard when it comes to COAs. That's, I think, that would be a good discussion too about these COAs because uh, I, I've heard both sides. There are collectors, who are collecting with certain certain way with certain style, and then there are other ladies who just are focused on buying dolls for different reasons. I don't know if I'm making sense here, ladies. Uh, Reborn Hugge says, "I want the sculptor to make money of their own sculpts, which is why I'm ninety <laughs> percent decided." <laughs> Yes, Inez is 90% all for that. 10% goes for those silicone partials. Um, Mrs. Harris Journey, I agree to disagree. I support sculptors. What's the difference between buying counterfeit or overpriced blank kits? Not much. The sculptors still don't get the money from their work. I tend to disagree here with this. I, I am honestly... I think the sculptors are getting their money, okay, ladies. They are getting their money. They're sculpting. If you look at the counterfeit, okay, we could go into what is the production value of the blank kit, of the vinyl, to make the vinyl kit. These kits are being sold for $120, $130. You'll see some of the fakes being sold for $30. For, they both are made in China. And now, even if you look at the at any product that is being made overseas, which is not manufactured dom domestically, what do you think the labor, how much do they pay for making one kit? There's, they are getting their money. Is it okay? Am I for fakes? Of course not. If I could, I could, I would burn the whole fake market. Okay, all counterfeits. I can't stand them. But the truth is. Nobody's starving here. I just I just have to just put it out there. Okay, nobody's stealing from the artist uh, if they decide to buy their beloved kid and they decide to pay four hundred dollars. Nobody's stealing from that. From and I don't. I would not classify that as the equal of supporting a Chinese illegal counterfeit replica market. I, I think that's all. Oh, that's a bit of a stretch for me. Just had to put it out there. 
uh, Ines says, Katie, read the chat. Yes, yes, I, I thank you. Buying overpriced kit o overpriced can be subjective. Doesn't mean you're against sculptor making money for their work. I've done it and I've uh, and I bought sold for more than what they sold from the dealer. Yes, I mean, I did it too. Do I consider that I did wrong um, to sculptor? No. I, 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 you know what I mean, ladies? Um, you can't compare buying counterfeits to buying overpriced soul kit. Um, but forever young little angel, uh, the artist made, made their money once uh, their scalp got sold. The money collector makes after has nothing to do with the artist. With counterfeits, the artists do not get paid for their scalp at all. Yes, yes, that's that's a good point, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. And Mrs. Harris, okay, agree to disagree. Yes, yes, we are here to discuss this. So thank you. Thank you for being actively participating, all of you guys who are out there, who are putting your thoughts out there. Uh, you don't have to agree with me. I'm here for a discussion. I really like healthy discussion. Uh, as little nursery agreed, Maribeth, I also think the high prices of the secondhand market speak to the sculptor's talent and popularity overall. That's an argument. It boosts their overall brand. Very true, Anne. Very true. I think secondary market, actually, this is a good, a good point of view. I Secondary market and how your kid will hold after a couple of years tells says it all, ladies. And and it's the biggest compliment if the old scalp that is maybe sometimes because look at it, look at it. So many new beautiful scalps and the sculpting is really like getting sculptors are getting like really into it. Okay, all the details. All these new sculpts, oh my goodness, not to mention amazing reborn uh, practices and all. Like, like artists, everybody just killing me, like lately. It feels like sculptors are constantly sculpt sculpting like they're on Red Bull, just sitting there. New sculpt every five and a half minutes. Reborn artists, all these details, it's just like crazy sometimes. I feel this is just like insane. It's amazing how this art, art keeps progressing. But I feel it's the biggest compliment in uh, when in the middle of affairs like this, old scalps that are like old scalps, okay, seven, eight years old, still are selling for such amazing, like high prices. That's the biggest compliment. And I think this is these couple of rare scalps propel artists' name out, out there. Because look at Bonnie Brown, like uh, her Grayson, okay. Uh, her Scarlet, her Levi, her Saskia, all super popular, super. Uh, Laura Lee Eagles, Quinlan. I think these are the scalps. These are the staples of their work and their names. They're propelling the artist's name up there. Like the more rare kits you have under your sleeve, the more popular you are. The more like the more people want your scalps because they're like, oh, my God. OK. Who doesn't want Quinlan? Who doesn't want Grayson? Who doesn't want... Uh, give me some names, ladies. I have a brain fog here. Who doesn't want uh, any of these? Uh, like Lulu, okay, these days. Uh, look at Amelia. Nobody wanted Amelia anymore. And then something happened and, oh my gosh, everyone wanted Amelia. And everyone wanted... Uh, like something, sometimes a certain collector or certain trend happens and it will propel completely not only the kit it will propel the sculptor's name the value of the sculptor's name on the map and i i feel that's why the sculptors are not all that tickled about people reselling these uh, blanks for more money because it's a compliment it's a freaking big biggest compliment i feel if your blanket is being sold for 2000 people are just ready to strangle themselves auctions over these blankets i mean if i was a sculptor i would be tickled ladies okay tickled yes scarlet lulu amelia thank you Inas. exactly all, all of these all of these scalps ladies 
do you think that Joanna is upset? I don't think that Joanna is upset about that. Because, it, oh, I wish I, I could sculpt like that and people would be just paying all these like crazy. That, that would be the biggest compliment because it means something. It means you're good, okay? People love your sculpts. People are smitten by your sculpts. These sculpts speak to people. They speak to their soul. They're willing to pay all this money for a blank kid slaves. Blank. You know, you know what I mean? <clears throat> uh, Reborn Hugo says, uh, there will be people who want special sold out limited editions for dealer price, but that's not how the free market works. Uh, in this community, we are talking about art here. And th th that's a good point. I mean, in every art communities, ladies, isn't that the whole point of calling uh, these uh, dolls uh, pieces of art and collectibles? Oh. <clears throat> I mean, uh, how many artists, how many painters, nobody wanted their work until they died. And they were selling for a couple of, couple of crowns, okay, back then. And now their, their work is sold for insane money. I know we're not, we're not talking about the same medium and same way, but, but still, like, we're, we're trying to talk about this as an art. So we need to treat this as an art. And, yeah, it is what it is. And it is a free market. So if someone is willing to pay that money, there always will be people who will be trying to profit. Um, Mrs. Harris Journey says, uh, thank you. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying hearing other points of view. We're judged for being in this hobby to begin with. We shouldn't be mean to each other. I agree. I totally agree. And I'm great. Uh, I'm glad, ladies, that you are actively participating in this. And, you know, it would be boring if everybody would agree with each other. I kind of like diversity. so. Bring it on, guys. Um, Reborn Higgins says, hey, friends, give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying the discussion. Thank you so much, Ines. Thank you, darling. Uh, Claudia Robinson, Robinson says, she's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Yeah, that, that's my Catherine. And uh, she doesn't have any socks, nothing, because quite honestly, I just slapped this outfit five minutes before I started my life because she was all wrapped. Uh, and she was wearing a chunky sweater since the doll show. I haven't changed her for weeks. And it's been really hot. So I, I was like, oh, my gosh. So I seen this diaper and then I'm, I was digging like really fast and panicky. So this is what I this is the best I could come up with. And I, and I, and I think it, she looks cute. What do you think, ladies? Uh, Reborn says those those soul kids are signaling the community that this sculpture is one to watch. Exactly, yes, I, I I that exactly that's what I what I think too. As Little Nursery says, yes, this has been a great discussion. I really enjoy hearing all these points of view that I had never considered before. Thank you so much, and thank you. I really appreciate you uh, saying that. Uh, Per, persnickety prudence, would you feel the same if you were the sculptor with someone selling your sculpt for more? Just curious. Ah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like I would be, I, I would definitely rather be one of those sculptors who produce the kits uh, that everyone wants and is willing to pay the money for, even more money, even if, even if it doesn't go directly into my pocket than to be one of those sculptors or have the sculpts that nobody wants. I don't know if it answers your question. But I would seriously rather be that popular one. Okay, I want her sculpts. I, 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 want, her, I want her blanks. I will need to pay. Then to be the sculptor who has warehouse full of kits, unsold kits, because nobody wants them. And let's be honest, there's a lot, tons of kits like that out there. That nobody is buying. There, there are still they ha there are limited editions of 500, and they have been around for years, and they're still available in stock. So if I had to choose, I would rather choose to be that the one who sculpts people want. 
because there's there's no other way okay ladies uh we're not going to you you can't stop people from doing this so i would rather as i said to be the popular one if i was the sculptor of course than to be someone whose kids are just not selling not even the ones that are in my own stock or in at my own dealers because that's happening to many sculptors out there i mean we're always talking about five or ten main household names but if you go and you see there are hundreds of sculptors out there if you go to mcpherson's and you go to their list from a to z you will see and there are thousands and thousands of, of sculpts themselves and many of them are still available after so many years so which one would you want to be if you were a sculptor? But thank you. That, that th thank you for asking the question. I mean, I as I said, I uh, th that's only my where I stand. Um, you guys don't have to agree with me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Wait, uh, oh, there's Linda, uh, Bernie Davis, all the vinyl kits are produced in China, right? Authentic or counterfeit? They're all produced in China because that's where the factories are and labor is cheap. Yes, Linda, yes, that's correct. Uh, no, no, actually there are some, uh, some manufacturers in Germany as well. I know that Germany has, uh, is producing some kits. I know that um, Sam, by Gudrun Legler was released was released before his sister. Ugh. What is wrong with me? And she before Romy Legler. But Romy was manufactured in China. No, Sam was manufactured in China. And China had uh, during pandemic, they closed their factories. And Romy, uh, Gudrun had uh, this contract with uh, for Romy's production in Germany. So Germany was able to manufacture the kids before Sam. Romy was shipped before Sam, but she was released after him, after the fact that uh, after Sam. So that's that's like a little curiosity. So that there are a couple of factories in in Germany as well. Uh, Reborn says I'm ninety percent against you are your ninety percent against. Released soul kids. I'm sticking with that. Bonnie once uh, thanked me, shanked me when I spoke against open editions. I remember that you are the only person uh, to whom Bonnie actually responded in that in that conversation, in that thing on Facebook. I remember that. <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> she shanked me. Mrs. Mrs. Harris journey. All right, everyone, I have to go. Thank you all. Continue enjoying your doll babies. Thank you so much, Mrs. Harris, for stopping by, for having the guts to come out and, and, and say your opinion. I really, we truly appreciate it. It was a good conversation. Thank you again. Uh, Reborn says she did it kindly. Yes, she shanked you kindly. Uh, Tammy Handy, there are kids through Bountiful Babies that they don't have COA and there some uh that are real yes yes those are but those are uh beautiful baby 3d scans of real babies they don't have any paperwork though real borns i never had a real born so i don't know i don't know how how they come what's with the paperwork with real borns uh <clears throat> and my bed for every uncle little angel says Catherine always looks gorgeous, thanks to her mommy's great face. Thank you so much, Maribeth. Thank you, Auntie. We love you. And Tammy Handy says, and the real born, and real born all have COA with them. I, uh, Tammy, I, I have no idea. I haven't ordered from Bountiful Baby. I am not an artist, so I can't act. Maybe someone will be able to answer you about that uh tammy says gorgeous baby girl thank you darling uh persnickety prudence says fair enough thank you uh Rebernica says uh persnickety i don't like those hypotheticals <laughs> i'm either the type of artist is creating for art's sake and always creating new faces 
or I'm, I'm hanging on to my less popular kids to carry me. <laughs> that's, oh, that's funny. And Weeby Doll says, as a collector who paid literally 500 for my Harper Blank kit, I was a bit taken back that she's now available. I like to have soul skulls in my collection. It feels special to me. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you for saying so, because I've seen, I've seen, you're not the only one. I've seen two other ladies, they were really, really upset yesterday because they just literally, sh like, uh, shelled out one almost $600, like, a couple of weeks ago for her blind kid. So she was not happy. So thank, thank you. I, I agree. Then Wendy says, however, I can also understand how excited someone might be who missed out to get a chance to get this kit, not even with the different arms. Now, even with the different arms, so I won't judge anyone for getting it. Yeah, well... I don't know. Uh, I totally see the point of from the both sides. On the other hand, you know how I feel. I would. Uh, I, I'm just. Let me just say this, okay, ladies. I'm glad Laura's not doing this because I'm most of my uh, blanks that I have hoarded secretly are from Orally Eagles, and I, yeah, I'm not even going into that into the prices of the blank kids, but. I'm just glad that she's not going to do it. So I'm just glad it's Harper, okay? <laughs> not one of my kids. Uh, Blast is emptiness. Okay, ladies, I'm headed to bed now. It's oh, 1.13 here in Scotland. I need my beauty sleep. Tata for now. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you for stand, uh, staying here so late. And have a good night. I'll see you. Thank you so much for being here. Um. Reborn says, the thing is, this new Harper has different limbs. Yeah, we're back to different limbs now. I, I, I always forget that. So it's a, a, a new Harper. Uh, Ali says, good night, Blas. It's 2.15 at me, so I'm going to bed very soon. Thank you so much, Elise, too, darling. I can't, I can't believe you ladies are still up. So I, I really, truly, 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 truly appreciate it. I love you. Oh, and have a great evening. Great night. All of you who are leaving, who are over in Europe. Uh, we be those as me too. So glad Laura the Eagles is not doing this. Uh, Reborn Higa says, I'm glad Laura won't do this either. Oh, yeah, I was. I can't even tell you guys. I'm not going to pretend even. I was so relieved because last night when I, I, when I was talking to Ines, I said, oh, my gosh. Because uh, Brenda said something along the lines that she was, she had some ideas and she would like to talk to another sculptor, to other sculptors. And I'm like, Oy, I, I'm like, what does it mean? What does it mean? Like how many rares are being brought back? Like I was a little bit, I was not feeling the situation as they say. Um, Maribeth Forever's Young Little Angels. Uh, Realborns have COA as long as they are in second kit. Uh, Bountiful Baby does sell some kids that are not real borns without COA, though. Okay, okay, okay. Th thank you, Maribeth, for clarifying that. Uh, but nobody wants to paint and root German vinyl from I hear. From what I hear, uh, Linda says, yes, I, I heard that. Actually, I talked to... I'm going to uh, let you all in on this secret. Well, it's not a secret, but I talked to my Sam's artist. And she told me it, it was a heck to root that doll. Like top of the head, the vinyl was not taking the hair. It was so hard. She couldn't even like get to the other side of the, of the head, like inside. It was hard to feel. It was just, I don't know, but I've heard this. I, I, I did hear, I, I did hear this about the vinyl. It's just, I don't know if it's hard, it's, well, it's different manufacturer, so. <clears throat> uh, Reborn Hugge says, Alice is a part of our past midnight club. Happy to keep you company. Uh, I agree. Amen to that. And we be those agreed birdies, babies. I don't mind painting German vinyl, but I do not like rooting them. Uh, the hair just doesn't want to go in. This is, this is exactly what my son's artist told me. And she, because... She, she was she was giving me some like uh, tips. I was asking her how to take care of his hair because his hair is slightly different than the hair that I'm used to. It's 
super sure. And she said, uh, she, she told me that she had the hardest time rooting him. And of course, I was asking her down the road, a couple of years, if she's, she's doing any like touch up, if I can send him back, if something happens, she of course agreed. So anyways, this is why I'm mentioning it. She, she, she did mention the head, the rooting. She, she did. She's not the first one who mentioned it to me either. So. Okay, ladies, so uh, I think I have been on forever. I don't want to keep you anymore. It's, oh my gosh, almost hour and a half. I really, really want to thank um, you all for being here, for participating super actively in this conversation. Um, even the ladies who didn't agree, agree with me, thank you for actually like having guts and I like saying because sometimes people they don't like to discuss things uh, and I, I really sometimes like when we go live here we are here for social interaction and it's nice to have a discussion and discussion can be only led when we have like different opinions I like to hear opinions and, and we learn throughout this process of talking about things so I, I'm glad that you have been here uh, I want to thank my moderator, my uh, my Inez Reborn Hige for being here actively leading the way, uh, helping me with talking about everything. Please go check her channel uh, out if you're not already subscribed. I think everybody is, but I'm just putting it out there. And thank you so much again for everyone uh, who has been here. Charlie wants to say hi, come here, baby, before we go. And he is he is all disheveled. He needs his bath, but there he is, auntie. Okay, he doesn't want to see you. No, I can't stand you in there. So we say, hi, auntie. Oh, I don't know if you can hear him or not or see him. Okay, baby. So, ladies, once again, thank you again. Let me see the comments here. Uh, Rebernica says, thank you all uh, for your participation. T Tina says, Tina G, thanks for the discussion. Very interesting and informative. Thank you. Alisa, thank you. Very interesting discussion. And Maribeth says, thank you, Katie, for life. Chat, good night. Good night, Charlie. And Reborn says, I have a poll about hair rooting on my community wall. Check it out. Yes, ladies, please, before you go, <clears throat> go to Reborn Herges channel, to her community wall. She always has these awesome polls there. I'm, I was trying to create this poll after, like this afternoon, and it was, I, I gotta tell you, Inas, really, I love your poll. So go check her poll. The latest one is about hair mono rooting. There's, it, it is based on a real situation, ladies, and discussion will be hopefully coming later this week. So please go vote there because we do base our discussion also on the poll results. I know that Inez is. She is always bringing. The, so these polls are not just for nothing, guys. We are reading them. So please go vote there. Okay, darling. So once again, I'm going. I'm I'm going. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Again, thank you for being here. We love you all, and we will see you in next hour in our next video. And I just need my coffee because I'm I'm totally parched, and I have a brain fog. So I'm gone. I'm gone. Love you guys. Thanks again for being here. Bye.